John chapter 3 and verse 14 Jesus was speaking here and he said and as Moses lifted up his the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life Jesus said he quoted something that had happened before he said the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness it is the same way the son of man will be lifted up and whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life why did Moses raise the serpent in the wilderness numbers chapter 21 I want to read it to you when somebody says as something happened you need to go and understand what happened at that time numbers chapter 21 from verse 5 numbers 21 from verse 5 and the people spoke against God and against Moses why have you brought us out of Egypt to die in the wilderness for there is no food and no water and our soul loads this worthless bread God has been miraculously feeding these people every day morning and evening they will go out and see manna they will take it prepare and eat evening they will go out they don't know where it comes from they just go outside they pack it they eat and God has been doing this and then suddenly they began to say we're tired of this bread Moses did you bring us here to kill us no water no food what have you been eating he said oh this worthless manna the bible said when they saw the manna for the first time they said the, the name manna means what is this so they shouted manna and that's the name we call it till today so till today we don't know what it is <laughs> praise god the name we call it manna means what is this but they ate it for 40 years 40 years God sustained them but they got to this point and they began to complain the same way a lot of people they don't realize what God have been doing in their lives they begin to complain they've not had job for two years now but they have never gone hungry but they now sit there and say what kind of thing is this eh, every day somebody will come and give me food and eh, when will God give me my own job they complain now look at what happened when they complained verse 6 so the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people and they beat the people and many of the people of Israel died serpents started coming out from that wilderness and began to bite them and they were dropping dead people were dying watch this therefore the people came to Moses and said we have sinned for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to God that he take away the serpent from us. So Moses prayed for the people. What did they pray? They said, pray to God that he would do what? Take away the serpent from us. And Moses went to God and began to pray. God have mercy on these people. They have apologized. Save them. Have mercy. Then the Lord said to Moses, I want you to follow. Make a fairy serpent and set it on a pole and it shall be that everyone who is beaten when he looks at it shall live so Moses made a bronze serpent and put it on a pole and so it was if a serpent had beaten anyone when they look at the bronze serpent they lived they prayed to God they said Lord take away the serpent God did not take away the serpent what did he do he tested their obedience again he said Moses do something for me make a serpent of bronze put it on a pole and keep it the serpent was still biting them but now if the serpent bites you and you turn and look at that serpent of bronze that is standing up there the bites will have no effect on you it will be like mosquito that just you know and just do it like this 
Now, I believe after Moses did, made that serpent of bronze, some people still look at it and say, this, you know, I say, now, now this thing will go chop. This is your salvation. But some people still look at it. Most serpent is biting us. You're making another serpent of bronze to put up there. Don't you know that this serpent you're making will attract other wicked serpents to come? But God knew that amongst them were disobedient people. So he didn't stop the serpents. He said, anyone who will believe and look to this serpent of bronze, they will live even in the midst of the serpents that are biting people. So now Jesus said the same way Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. It is the same way the Son of Man will be lifted up. And whoever looks on him, whoever believes and looks unto him shall be saved. They will not perish. Brothers and sisters, life situation is eating people up. People are crying. Things are happening to people bad news everywhere many times we have gathered and we prayed oh god change our nation change the world stop all these bad things from happening stop all this sickness from happening but god has already answered that question since he has already answered that prayer since he says lift up my son lift up my son anyone who looks up to him it doesn't matter the problem that is in the world they will not perish it will not destroy them as long as they do what look to Jesus to look to Jesus you have to believe you have to believe in him there is no he didn't tell us today to make an image of Jesus and keep are you hearing what I'm saying no if he said make an image then all of us will have to travel to the place where the image is to be able to look at it before uh, our joblessness will be solved are you hearing what i'm saying before our sickness will be healed but god knows that that is not the way today there is no jesus standing on the physical pole but jesus is lifted up everywhere if you call upon his name whether you're on top of a mountain or inside a hole if you call upon his name he will hear you why will you call upon his name because you believe in his name so he says, anyone who believes in him will not perish. The things that are making people perish today, they are all over. They are not far from us. But then, the difference is he has told us and we have believed him. They say there is no money anywhere. It is left for you to follow them to be talking that way or to turn around and look to Jesus. Are you hearing what I'm saying? They are saying people are dying anyhow. It is for you to join them to talk like that or to hear it and turn and look to Jesus. Jesus says, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it in abundance. He came to give us life. But how many people are looking to him for that life? That is all that is needed. He didn't say journey to Jerusalem to look at him. If it is truth, if that is the truth, only those that have money to enter plain will be able to go to him and look to him. Are you hearing what I'm saying? But because he made salvation for every man, there is no discrimination. There is no white man in this matter. There is no black man in this matter. There is no red man in this matter. Anyone, he said, whosoever. Whenever you read the Bible and it says whosoever, gladly write your name there. I say, today I have become the whosoever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because whosoever means whosoever. But say, what am I trying to tell you? When you say whosoever, praise God. It's not one person that claims that whosoever. You can claim that whosoever. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Anytime you open your Bible and you're reading, I say whosoever. Take a pencil. I'm permitting you to do it. Take a pencil and write your name and your son name there. And not only write it. If you say whosoever believes in him shall not perish. He said today. I am the whosoever. Put your name there. I said, call your name. Atubo judge believes in him. Therefore, he will not perish. I am the whosoever. Praise God. If you have to qualify first, it's no longer whosoever. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, you see a signboard somewhere. 
and he said look employment for whosoever is interested now if you now go there I say oh I saw your banner outside I have come for that employment then I ask you are you a university graduate he said no uh, no 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 it's university graduates we need we will tell them they go and change that signpost that is there and put graduates only for employment is that not true but you know the truth when you believe in him he will take you by the hand and begin to guide you he will begin to lead you he will begin to lead you the truth that you have believed in him is that you will begin to follow him are you hearing what i'm saying you don't believe in him and still stay where you are he himself is busy he's busy jesus said my father is walking me too i'm walking what is he doing he's changing people's lives he's changing people's lives i told you yesterday when you come to jesus he will begin to build your life up he will not leave you the way you came to him he will not leave you the same way he will begin to build your life and build your life why is he building your life because there is something he wants to put in your hands but he has to train you first to be able to handle that thing when you believe in him you have to trust him and put your hand in his hands and let him begin to guide you let him begin to guide you he will begin to teach you things he will teach you everyone that have walked with jesus will tell you what they have learned from jesus are you hearing me i was in school when i learned from jesus that i don't need to struggle in life when we believe in jesus we hear from him and when we hear from him he tells us what to do and when he tells you what to do do it sometimes you go before him and say lord jesus i don't know what to do again just tell me what you want me to do that is the simplest prayer to pray for him to take over your life sometimes we live like we know what we are doing but everything we have tried to do have failed but he's there he'll be quiet and watching you until you get to your end and look to him and say lord jesus please tell me what you want me to do sometimes jesus will tell you to do something that does not make sense he doesn't need to make sense to change your life are you hearing what i'm saying he doesn't need to make sense that's why you can't come to jesus and be complaining jesus the reason i'm not a success is because i did not go to school it's because i did not go to university that's not jesus and he will not tell you ah i can see mm. this your life is hard i wish even me jesus i wish you went to school i would have helped you now that's not jesus even at that stage at this stage of your life the thing is still the same whatever he tells you to do do you will go to jesus and say jesus i don't have money only this two thousand naira that is in my account and do you know he can make you live for one full month without touching that two thousand naira in your account and you will see it well you will feed people that will come to your house that's what jesus can do but are you looking up to him when things happen who do you remember first are you hearing what i'm saying when things happen who do you call first you carry your phone hey, 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 hey. Um, um, what's that her number now that my friend that knows uh, one police officer uh -huh. that's what you're looking for or hey who can borrow me money now hey can you imagine who can borrow me money now that's all you're thinking about but jesus is there waiting for you to call on him waiting for you to call on him what do you want in your life jesus is there is there for you listen to me he speaks if you will open your hearts to hear him you will hear his voice and whatever he tells you to do sometimes you need to be calm and still to hear his voice if you approach him and say jesus what do you want me to do please tell me what to do he will never disappoint you he will tell you what he wants you to do remember there is no other name under heaven that can save anyone no name no doctor's name can save no politician's name can save no name but him it doesn't matter who calls on him whether you are great or small as long as you have a mouth as long as you have a voice you can tell him jesus help me in this area and he will say yes my son 
I'm ready to help you in that area. Lift up your hands right now. I don't know where you need help. I don't know where you need help. But as we begin to pray, the first thing Jesus wants to do in your life is to save your soul. He's so interested in that. So much interested in that that he had to die so that it would be possible for your soul to be saved. He died. The reason we can all look up to him today is because he gave his blood for us. And God accepted his blood. And since God accepted his blood, today, anyone who calls on him will receive life. Not death. Not condemnation. He doesn't call you to condemn you. He calls you to help you. He calls you to give you life. So as we lift up our hands, first, I want to ask in this place,